Okay class, Assalamualaikum and good um, because I'm recording this video morning so good morning. Alright, okay so uh, I just want to say sorry because I'm I'm upload this video too late. Okay, okay my bad, sorry. Um, but I hope that you can uh, you already come, you already what you call uh, look at the slides that I upload in Yulun and study on that slide okay so this video is just for enhance i mean just to help you to get more understanding on of this topic right so without further ado um okay before that i just want to welcome to the new students uh to my class maybe they have a few students at first time with me and also they have a maybe some students they already with me before maybe in my em1 class okay so yeah, welcome. So I am Miss Virda. So I will teach you uh, till the end of the semester for this chapter for this uh, subject, which is the EKG two four four three EM two. Okay. All right. So without further ado, we will start our class now. So this is on chapter one. So chapter one is about function of several variables. Okay. Several uh, function of several. Variables. So I think most of you, I think all of you lah, all of you already learned before what is function, right? So, kita memang dah deal with function pun. You belajar EM1, you dah deal with function. Siapa yang take, already take uh, DE also, you already take, uh, you already learn about function, right? So, cuma what's the difference here? Maybe, function before, it just consists of one variable. Okay, maybe before this, you learn only one variable. Okay, so for this topic or for this subject, we will learn function that consists of two and three variable so it's nothing uh it's not a major difference it's just on it's a different on only on the number that variable involved okay the variable involved two or three okay so this is a function of two variable and this is a function of three variable okay that's it okay and to je untuk i mean for this subject uh yeah you will cover or you will learn on more macam later you can make integration so the integration of two variable and also three variable okay right so okay the highlight of this uh week point topic is about domain and range okay domain and range so what is a domain and range okay all right so um yeah you if you want to get um the formal or the the correct not the correct one. What we call the yeah the formula. We can the formal the formal uh, explanation. You can refer to my slides. But in easy words, I will say that like this: domain. Okay, domain is a uh, uh, is a value. Okay, of x and y. Okay, okay. Macam ni, eh? kita ada two and three variable, right? So let's say we focus on two variable first. So it means that x and y is your variable. So domain here, domain here means it's a any value when you substitute into x and y, your function exists. Uh, exists. Maksudnya, bila you masukkan any value, tak kisah lah, positive, negative, kosong, you substitute into your function and you will get a value. And value also must be exist too, maksudnya value yang... Zero also we consider as this, eh? Okay, don't forget. Zero also a number. So, maksudnya dia wujud lah. Yang maksudnya kalau non exist ni, maksudnya when you substitute value and then you calculate using calculator, you get max error. Ah, uh, That one is non exist. Okay. So, I repeat. Domain is a value of x and y. Okay, a value of variable that when you substitute into your function, your function is as this. So, it can be more than one value, right? Maksudnya tak kisah, dia mesti akan ada value yang banyak. Zero, positif, negatif, tak kisahlah. Asalkan value yang you masukkan, you akan dapat function you exist. That one we call as domain. So that's why domain must be in term of sets. Maksudnya kena in term of set. Okay? Dia bukan satu, dia banyak, dia lebih dari satu. So it must be in term of set. So, so that one is domain. Okay, that one is domain. Eh? Domain is a value of x and y. Okay, the, the keyword here is a value of x and y. So, now range. What is range? Okay, range also must be a set. Okay, they can set juga. 
So, tadi kalau kata domain is a value of s y, now range is a value of the answer that you get here. Kalau you punya function exists, masa you akan dapat value kan? So, range is a value of your function. Ah, value of your function. Maksudnya, after you substitute all the value of your domain tadi, you akan dapat value. You akan dapat, ya, yeah, you akan dapat value kat sini. So, this value is a range. Okay. So, this is how, how, um, this is how uh, the way I understand that before. So, I I just explain to you, maybe it can help you to get the same understanding with me. If you don't, you can refer to the slides or any sources. Uh, yang buat kan you faham lah apa tu masa domain range but this is the easy easy way to make it understanding on what is domain and range I think okay alright so I will go to the question to the example lah okay to the example okay example 1 okay for f x y equal to x square plus y okay okay Find uh, f negative two nine f half zero domain and range. Okay, I'm oh, sorry, to say buruk betul. Okay, alright. So find first. They ask you to find these two. Uh, after you substitute the value and get the value, uh, get the function itself, and then find the domain and range. Okay, so we we start first with these two. It's easy, right? Just substitute the value here. So the first value here is x. The second value is y. Okay. So substitute this into your function. So negative two square plus square root nine. You have four plus three. You get seven. Okay, and then the second one is half zero. So, means that half power two plus zero. So, we have one over four. Okay, settled. So, now what is domain? Okay, domain. Okay, like I said just now. Domain is a set of variable that when you substitute into your function, your function is at this. So, this is how we write. X and Y. So, because this is variable that involves right? So, X and Y. So, Substitute x in y. So, you can try. You can try any number. So, for me, I will try three possible numbers. Zero, negative, and also positive. Can any number lah, try je any number. So, let's say I try negative. Eh? I try to substitute. Okay, I substitute x first. Okay, we start with x first. So, let's say I start with negative 1. Substitute here to here. Negative 1 power 2. You have 1. So, exist. Okay. Then, same thing. I repeat. I using negative also. I substitute into y. Negative. Set negative y. Is it exist or not? Try. Try to calculate using calculator. It's max error, right? It's max error. So, means that. Okay, means that what? X. Okay, saya tak tulis lagi lah. Maksudnya, untuk negative, X tu boleh. Okay, untuk negatif ni, x tu okay. Maksud kalau you substitute any number of negative number into x, it's, uh, it's okay, it's as this, any number. But if you substitute negative value into y, set y here, because it's set y. So, it's come, it will be lead to max error. Okay, so, okay, and then, then, substitute plus zero. Okay, that one you put aside first. Okay, but you, jangan lupa terus, just put aside. So, now we Substitute 0. Substitute 0, you get 0. You get 0. So, means that it exists, right? It exists. Okay, now, positive. Try any number. Okay, let's say I choose 2. I substitute 2 here is 4. So, it exists. Square root 2, yes, it exists even though you have a decimal point. But, it still exists, right? So, positive, okay. So, only for the negative 1 tadi. So, macam ni kita akan tulis. Maksudnya, if you can refer back, uh, if you can recall back, negative, you get a value. Zero, also you get a value. Positive, also you get value. So, that's mean, x can be any number. Okay, x can be any number. Semua number you boleh masukkan. Then, x exists. But, for y, y can be any number also. Okay, can be any number. But, Okay, I, I think I write the wrong way. Okay, this is how the correct one. Okay, x, y. Okay, x and y can be any number. Okay, but 
y cannot be equal to what we just saw cannot be equal to negative right so means that y must be more than equal zero only okay masa y kena nombor dia yang kena masukkan cuma kosong dan ke atas okay alright get it okay so that is domain okay so now we go to the range Okay, range pula adalah jawapan. The answer that you get after you substitute. So, the answer that you get. So, the answer of the function lah. Okay. So, after you substitute all this value. Okay, tadi you dah masuk. You masukkan value yang you boleh lah. Maksudnya, you jangan masukkan value negatif. Maksudnya, you must refer to your domain. Okay. So, after you masukkan value-value ni, you dapat jawapan. Okay. Possible tak you dapat jawapan zero? Maksudnya, after you get. After you try, substitute all this value, positive, negative and so on, into this function, possible tak you dapat value 0? Possible, right? If your x 0 and y 0, you will get 0, right? Okay, now, if your x is positive and y uh, positive, you will get positive value. If your x is negative and your y is negative, tak boleh lah, negative pun tak boleh, okay? Square root y tak boleh sebab you kena tengok you punya domain. Domain you kata y you must be 0 and above. So, tak boleh. So, kalau sini negatif boleh. Ni boleh. Ni negatif x. You akan dapat positif. Yang ni try masukkan kosong. So, you will answer will be li, will be 0 right. Eh, sorry. You will answer will be uh, positif. Okay, maybe you can you cannot see what I mean. Okay, macam ni. Um, okay, kita ada x and y. Okay, let's say kita masukkan. Okay, untuk negatif memang tak boleh. Tak boleh eh, tak boleh. So, sekarang, let's say you masukkan positive value dekat X. Okay, masukkan positive value dekat X. So, bila you masuk positive value dekat X, you akan dapat positif. Bila you masukkan positive value dekat Y, you akan dapat positif. So, your answer will be positif. Okay, now, zero. You masukkan zero dekat sini, you akan dapat zero. Masukkan zero sini, dapat zero. You akan dapat zero. So, when you get, when you substitute negative into here, you get positif. And this one you cannot be in, I mean you tak boleh masukkan negatif lah. You can try masukkan positif and also zero. So you will answer will be positive also. So means that the answer that you will get only positive, zero and positive. So fxy is of more than equal to zero. Uh, that's why, that's what I mean by range. Okay. Right? Okay. Kita try satu lagi example. Maybe you can see clearly after this. Okay. Example 2. Let's say you have a function. Okay. I just go to the domain and range lah. So, I think that one yang uh, yang the highlight for these topics. Okay. So, the same thing. Okay. Domain here means a set of x, y. Okay, what oh, is it to list? Okay, x plus, sorry, this one is plus. Okay, alright, so, can, can be x positive value? Yes, can, boleh. You masukkan x cos, uh, positive, memang positive lah. Sini pun sama, so x can be positive. Okay, before that, just write like this. Okay, so x can be positive. Okay, how about zero? X can be zero? Yes, x can be zero. How about negative? Yes, x can be negative. So, x can be any number. Oh, sorry. Tak payah tulis lah sebab you tulis ni. X can be any number. So, now we look at y. Can be, y will be positive? Yeah, definitely okay lah. Lon 2 boleh. Kalau lon kosong? Ah, lon kosong tak boleh kan? Lon kosong. It will max error. Same goes to lon negative. You tak boleh. You akan dapat max error. Kalau lon 1 dapat berapa? Lon 1 is 1, right? At 0. So, means that when it start from 0 and below, you will get max error. So, means that your y must be greater than 1. Must be greater and equal to 1. Cannot be 0. Okay? Okay, betul tak? Masa, masa macam tu lah. Bila you masukkan nombor-nombor tu, nombor tu tak uh, dan jawapan you tak exist. So, maksudnya tak boleh. Okay? Alright? So, range... Okay, range is the answer. It's a set of the answer that you get. 
Okay, tadi you try. Okay, you ada X and ln X lah. So, X and X square sama lah. Okay. So, you have positive, zero, negative. Okay, let's say you masukkan. Okay, for the negative ln Y memang tak boleh. Sama juga ln kosong tak boleh, tak boleh. Okay, so this one will be positive. This one also positive. You will get positive. Okay, kalau you masukkan kosong kat sini. So, akan dapat kosong. So, you akan dapat zero. Kalau you masukkan negative sini. It can be. Okay, if your negative is bigger than this one. Okay, maksudnya kalau sini negatif dia lebih besar. Dan ni positif. Dia akan dapat negatif. Tapi ni kuasa 2. Oh, sorry. Okay, I... Uh, tadi saya punya bateri ni lah. Okay, so kat mana eh? Saya ulang balik lah. Saya rasa maybe kat mana tadi. Okay, saya ulang balik. So, this is domain. Okay, domain here means the... The what we call the variable Yang you masukkan value dekat variable tu Then they must be exist So if you substitute Okay x is okay X tak ada masalah But for y If you substitute 0 and below 0 and negative You will get max error So that's mean your y must be only Or you must be start from 1 and above 1 infinity So that one is domain So now we go for range so, like, uh, we have 3, positive, 0, negative. So, for the lone y, 0 cannot be same thing with negative. So, we left with this. So, if your x is positive, y is positive. So, you will get positive value. If your x is 0, so that means you will get 0. If your 1 is, uh, sorry, if your x is negative, you can maybe either get negative or positive. But, when you try, okay, you try to substitute here. Let's say lah kalau you punya x is negative Tapi you buy y is positive right Or zero tak, tak, tak salah Tapi dia consider as number Contoh lah Sini negative 5 So Then we assume that long y is 1 Okay this one is negative 5 So so Total this one will be negative 5 right And then plus With negative 5 power 2 It will be 25 So means that Kalau pun nombor kat sini negatif eh. X kat sini is must be re, must be equal lah. Okay X kalau sini negative 5. Here also must be negative 5. So you can see that if here is negative 5. This one will be positive. And it must be greater than this one. So you will get positive. So you can see that the answer. A set of answer that you will get is only 0 and positive. So F. X, Y is only um, must be greater 0 and positive. Ada dapat kosong tak? Kalau sini kosong. Kosong boleh? Okay. 0 and positive value only. Okay. Betul tak? Kalau kalau sini positive. Okay. You try lah. You try. So this is how we try to get your range. You can your answer can be zero. Your answer can be positive. But for negative, I think it's okay. It's possible lah to get negative. Let's say lah kalau this one kalau kita consider as one. Let's say lah kalau sini negative five and this one is greater. Ah, uh, maybe maybe six lah. Maybe six. Eh, I assume this one is six. So six times negative five is negative thirty. Negative 30 plus 25, you will get negative 5. Okay, so, this answer is wrong. So, your range can be any number. It can be positive, it can be 0 and also negative. You will get this negative. Okay, so this is how we find domain and range. Okay, alright. So, you can answer your tutorial. I already uploaded the question. So, for this week, yeah, you will do it individually and uh, submit to me through ULEARN. But for that week, I will uh, do in different method. Uh, I hope that you already read my announcement in ULEARN. I already uploaded. it. Uh, I will highlight or uh, I will ask you to form a group of your tutorial members, okay? Alright, okay. So, this is about this week's main topic. So, I will proceed the next video next week, which is a limit and continuity. Alright, da.